I love, love, love a fault line cake. So if you want me to show you how to do that, I'm gonna show you right here, right now, with this chocolate cake. It's four layers with vanilla buttercream and dolce de leche in the center. The ivory buttercream color. Hopefully you can see the difference from the white, white buttercream and the ivory buttercream. And you're gonna start at an angle, maybe a triangle. You can make it all the way around the bottom of the cake. It's really up to you. But I'm gonna start by making a squiggly line up the cake. And I'm gonna do about that much. Cause you do have to smooth it out. Sorry, you can't see. So I'm gonna do about that much. You wanna make sure this cake has been chilled in the refrigerator for at least 15 minutes or the freezer for five to 10. That way the buttercream underneath is firm and you have better chance of being able to scrape it off if you make a mistake. You're gonna use your scraper and you're gonna smooth it in sections. You don't have to smooth it all at once. So you're gonna start at the very end of it and you're just gonna smooth it in a section. So you should have something like that. Because we have way too many air bubbles going on here. And I'm not vibing that. Keep smoothing it until it's perfectly even all the way around. You're not gonna press as hard as you would if you made a regular cake because you wanna keep the buttercream over that layer. Once you finish smoothing it, you should have something like this. Now we're gonna get a little bit of gold luster dust and we're gonna outline. Now because I'm just extra, I like to add texture to my fault line. It just makes a huge difference in the cake. So you could leave it like this and add some gold luster dust or you can add texture to it. So I have a textured cake comb right here and I'm gonna actually use this side. It's gonna be the same process when you smooth it. Keep your scraper steady on your board. Don't move it up and down. And you're just gonna go with it one time all the way through. Be sure to clean your scraper each and every time you go back through. After a few more scrapes, this is what you have. A nice, pretty texture. Now we're gonna add some gold luster. Gosh, there we go, fix that. I'm gonna finish decorating this cake. I'm gonna design it. I'm gonna put my flowers on it and I'll show you in the end.